we'll have positive 3 for the first one, negative 3 for the second one, and negative 51 for the third one. Great work if you found all three of those. Now if you weren't quite sure what to do, that's okay. Let's see how it's done. For the first problem, we know that the a value is really equal to 3, so we're going to square this 3. Our b value is really square root of 6, so we'll square the square root of 6. 3 squared equals 9, and the square root of 6 squared equals 6. Then we just subtract these two numbers to get positive 3. For our second problem, the a value is really equal to the square root of 2, and our b value is really equal to the square root of 5. Squaring this square root leaves us with 2, and squaring this square root leaves us with 5. So 2 minus 5 equals negative 3. And this last difference of squares will have a is 2 root of 3, and b is 3 root of 7. And here's where we want to be careful. We want to square this 2 and the square root of 3. We know 2 squared is 4, and the square root of 3 squared is 3. There's multiplication between this number and this radical, so after we square, there's still multiplication between this number and this number. We square 3 root 7 to get 9 times 7. Next, we multiply 4 times 3 to get 12, and 9 times 7 to get 63, and then subtract to get our final answer of negative 51. Now, I think that's pretty incredible that we can take something that contains radicals and pop out just one number.